that's becoming energy independence. Um, so the U.S. has an estimated 264 billion barrels of reusable oil reserves, which is more than any other country, including Russia, which is second with 256 billion. You have Saudi Arabia with 212 billion, Canada with 167 billion, and Iran with 143 billion. So first off, we become energy independent, and we actually start using our own oil, and we start going ahead and getting the oil refineries and everything up and running uh, at full force again. Which I have hope that, that Trump will, you know, get to it. Um, and it will be, it'll be kind of like with his first term. We have enough oil where we can start selling it to other countries and we start bringing revenue into this country. And, um, yeah, you hear some of these people go away and cry about environmental concerns. Well, do you think that Saudi Arabia and the Middle East have any concern for environmental factors? or more concerns for environmental factors than the U.S. does. We have more regulations and everything, and we make it a conscious effort to do things in the most environmentally friendly way possible compared to any other state or any other country. And, and for some reason, the U.S. US always gets brought up as, you know, when you, whenever you talk about pollution or anything, however you look at the two largest polluting countries in the world, which is India and China, and nobody ever says anything to them. Uh, that's because China and India will basically tell them to go ahead and kick rocks and get to walking. And the U.S. will go ahead and cow down and do whatever, you know, they're they're being accused of doing wrong. And we need strong leadership in D.C. And unfortunately, right now, we just really don't have that.